Hello, welcome everyone to a very long overdue channel update video and I will now try and um, explain what I'm up to at the moment uh, and uh, talk a little talk a little about the future and uh, some upcoming stuff uh, from the Total War universe, I almost said, but, you know, Warhammer and Next Historical and uh, stuff like that. So, let's get started then. Um, currently, of course, if you're following my channel, then uh, then you know this. So, this is just for maybe any new viewers. I'm still, uh, of course, uh, doing the two permanent series uh, on my channel at the moment. And those are the Averni Campaign on Rome 2, Caesar and Gaul uh, DLC. And playing as the Averni, we are now... We have crossed the uh, dreaded 13, part 13, uh, unlucky 13, and uh, things are progressing uh, very good. Uh, I don't, we have defeat, well I shouldn't uh, talk about the <laughs> what happens in the <laughs> upcoming part, so, oh, almost uh, made a mistake there. But we are making good progress. I don't see the campaign dragging on for too long. Uh, unless there's some kind of... Uh, yeah. Uh, little surprise uh, at the as you defeat, defeat your main uh, enemy, Rome. I'm not sure. It could be. But we'll see about it. We are uh, in a very strong position and I do not think that... Should there be a kind of twist at the end, we should be pretty uh, adept apt at uh, taking care of that situation. Now, the other series that I'm doing is the uh, British Peninsula Pe Peninsular Campaign, Peninsular Campaign, <laughs> uh, on Napoleon Total War, my first campaign on Napoleon, and I've done four parts, uh, there are more, I have recorded more, it's just a matter of reminding myself to actually upload them uh, a bit more regularly, I think. And uh, yeah, so that's still going, it's a uh, pretty straightforward campaign so far, we have taken some territories from the French in Spain, are liberating, and uh, yeah, it's an interesting addition, I think. Uh, for those of you who, who want that era with the um, uh, yeah cavalry and the uh, muskets, fires and yeah, it's nothing. As I said, it's only video, only videos that I have done so far on Napoleon. Uh, I did. Uh, I started a series on Empire long, long time ago. Uh, that I have abandoned since. I still have the videos on my channel side, but yeah. So it's available there for you to check out. Uh, it hasn't got a lot of views at all, but um, I don't know if that's due to circumstances, like random, how, how many people happen to stumble upon the videos, or if it's just interest, or if it's just my crazy thumbnail that, that scares people away. It's more, yeah, I, I thought it was kind of fun, it's kind of graffiti, yeah, you know, resistance, uh, like a plaque, something like that, I don't know. But uh, yeah, so if you have any ideas on uh, on views in particular, uh, if in, well in general, I mean, uh, like what differences might be, I know I'm a very small channel, so I'm not having too much high hopes, but yeah. If you have any ideas, tips, feel free to leave a suggestion in a comment down below the video. Right then, so that's the what's the, the kind of yeah up and running series. Uh, and then of course we have the historical battles, it's a more irregular series, but uh, it is of course still ongoing. And um, as I've as I say in every video, if you have any suggestion, then feel free to leave a comment on any video uh, what you want to see. And please try and be specific. Uh, or if you, maybe you just want to see, oh, I want to see Romans, I want to see Spartans or 
Parthia or whatever. That fine, that works well. But uh, the more specific you can be, then the better. If and if you have any tips on what kind of mod I should use to enhance the historical uh, immersion depth, then yeah, feel free to suggest. I will certainly consider it. And I mean, it's not like I have been flooded by suggestions. So uh, yeah, if you leave a suggestion, you're probably gonna get it. I can say that much. So, we have done Marathon, uh, Horns of Athene, and uh, that was the uh, Battle of Pharsalus, Siege of Syracuse, and Battle of Falkirk just recently. So, um, Antiquity, Middle Ages or Medieval, Antiquity, uh, same here, and Medieval. So, yeah, maybe it's due, due time, maybe, ah, can't speak now. Maybe it's time for something more in the, um, I don't know, fr like from Renaissance up until uh, 19th century, something like that. More late period, or we could possibly look at the early medieval period, or dark ages from like, uh, just after the fall of Rome or something like that. Anyway, just feel free to leave a suggestion. And I will try and uh, make it happen. Right then. Uh, and I should also notice now, uh, I got just recently gotten a nice new channel avatar uh, that I'm using here as well as on Twitter. So get used to it, this one. This is a uh, nice channel avatar made by uh, Danish warriors called and I will leave a link to his channel in the description um, you can see him. so his channel over here and he's just recently returned from a, a break and so please feel free to check his channel out and uh, if you've um, followed him before and didn't know he was back then there it is, you can see, just uploaded a video 13 hours ago. So, yeah. And if you're new to his channel, then yeah. It's another great Total War channel, just uh, waiting for you to be discovered. So, there you have it, very uh, nice gesture from uh, Mr. Danish Warrior Skull, and I thank him for it. And yeah. I'm also probably getting a uh, nice banner here as well, made by him, so very nice, very nice. Uh, yeah, okay, so now we're moving on to uh, point two on my little uh, uh, note list here that I briefly scribbled down just before recording. And that is, we've covered now the, uh, what's the current events. Basically, now we are trying to take a look at the not too distant future. Because, as you may know, uh, Warhammer 2 is coming out later this year, in the fall, probably. And this is, of course, as you know, if you follow the Total War community, uh, that some people are very upset that there won't be a new historical title this year. Uh, I mean, it wasn't really... I don't think there was no signs pointing to that. But, I mean, people still hope. I, I get it. I, I prefer the historical titles to Warhammer. Uh, I like Warhammer. It's a good game. Uh, I am not, though, put in the hours uh, as as compared to Attila. Or, no, let's, just, let's not talk about Rome 2, because, my god, I have played a lot of that. <laughs> So, um, yeah, but it's a good game. I mean, in Warhammer 2, I, I will definitely buy it, play it, um, because I, I find the new races to be a bit more interesting, I think, but we'll see. Um, but we're going to talk about historical. So, uh, you should probably be aware at this time now, because this isn't really news anymore, but uh, they're going to be... Uh, 
basically what they're saying they're, they're working on new historical title blah 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 and it's not affected by uh, the teams working on Warhammer and um, they are now um, uh, yeah basically trying to bring some more character development and uh, maybe a bit more role playing element or just kind of building campaigns again around historical persons I can only imagine which is of course interesting I think because uh, uh, they, they, I think they can always do more to build uh, or anchor the games in um, historical accuracy not merely historical accuracy but a historical environment because sometimes I feel like it's a bit, maybe a bit too open, maybe a bit too sandbox. They, like, take Rome 2, you could have had more interaction with uh, the Senate, you could have more focus on political uh, offices, like in the first Rome, uh, Rome game, but even more so maybe emphasizing or getting bonuses, stuff like that, that would actually mean you would play it would matter to you to kind of look after that or let's say um, yeah I mean okay I'm struggling to come up for to come up uh, with more suggestions right now but uh, yeah I, I always like when you, they add more to kind of get you interested because if you played one Total War campaign the the aim of the campaign is still the same and I always, I've always been one of those players who start out a campaign and I feel, wow, this is gonna be a great campaign. I'm gonna do this and this and that, and I'm gonna yeah, well, do a lot of stuff. But then, I, eventually, I tire a bit. You know, you, you get used to the units and the buildings and the playstyle. You want something new. So anything that can kind of break that and add something fresh, it's good. So uh, character focus. Yeah, I have no problem with that. It sounds interesting. Um, but of course, the main, uh, uh, my main concern or wish is more with the time period itself. That that should be the focus, and make the time period, uh, make a game that fits the time periods as as they have done with the previous titles. That should always be the main focus, of course. And um, I could be worth mentioning that I have done a video. They could search for it uh, on my channel. Discussion, uh, discussion video on Total War. Just type in those words in <laughs> some kind of random order, and you should probably find it. Uh, where I opted for maybe bringing the Total War t title to say. 30 year wars that kind of time period where um, you uh, could uh, kind of see uh, you don't get the f empire timeline but you also uh, your way uh, you are kind of you have stepped out from the medieval and you're now embracing um, the pike and shot tactics without the uh, um, yeah, I guess it's, you, you, had, you don't have the uh, uh, emerging nation states as in the 18th century, but you have more, even more uh, t minor factions and um, political, uh, yeah, political players. So like you don't have just kingdoms anymore. Now yeah, you, you uh, yeah, you got some kingdoms, but you also have smaller factions that be interesting to see and you, you got the Holy Roman Empire how are we gonna manage that should be a that could could be a tricky thing to involve in a total war game so that the different kind of factions within the uh, Roman Empire Holy Roman Empire how are they gonna uh, react and interact within the Empire but I think that would be interesting um, because it is a truly uh, turmilous and war-filled period of European history, so that's I think that's a safe, pretty safe bet. Um, 
and it's kind of easy to grasp. You, you could form it, base it around religion, uh, and uh, have Protestants versus Catholics, but as, as if you had studied the war, uh, you know that it was, of course, much more than that. Yeah, and I also and in that discussion video, I also mentioned maybe doing a folk a total war title based on the Ottoman Empire or something like that. Maybe the rise and fall uh, could be different, uh, difficult, of course, tr if you try to span too wide of a time period. But maybe something um, uh, where you end with the fall of uh, Constantinople, some, something like that. So you could do early medieval to late medieval. That could work, I think. There's not too much of a technolo technological jump there. I mean, medi medieval 2 almost c covers entire that period, I think. So could be done. And there's more suggestions in that video as well, so feel free to check it out. I could probably link it in this description if I remember. Uh, I'll write it down actually. Link video. Uh, there we go. Right. And uh, yeah. But I also want to mention the um, Black Ops teams that are working on uh, historical content for Attila and uh, probably wrong to at least the, 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 those two are the games that I suppose will be getting new content. I, I really can't see them going back further than that, further than Rome, so yeah, so if you haven't heard they are gonna try and yeah, make some, ext release some extra content to these games um, in the meantime before the next historical title comes out. And of course now we, we wonder uh, what extent would this extra content be and um, yeah, w what kind of will it be in the same strict time period? Will there be a kind of mm, uh, like Age of Charlemagne was to Attila, which of course takes place um, much later? Could that be how much uh, room to maneuver do they have chronologically? And of, uh, of course. Um, what will it be a... I think that most of us in the community and what I reckon... What, what I've gathered from watching videos and yeah, lurking <laughs> uh, in the uh, comment sections. Um, people think that it will be in the... Kind of like the Age of Charlemagne that you should probably... Uh, 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 build your expectations on that... Uh, kind of uh, DLC or whatever they call it. Um, so that would be in a um, an expansion more uh, rather than a new game, uh, not too big of scope and something that it can add to an existing game without too much hassle. So what would you want to see? What kind of, if you, if you think about Rome 2 and Attila, what uh, is there a faction? Is there a time period just that just corresponds? Maybe it's just before or after the game or during that you think they will cover. Uh, so it's a faction, a time, time, timeline. Maybe be a, even a character that you could focus on. Um, I don't really have any good suggestions that I think that they haven't already done. Maybe they could uh, do uh, just write a very linear campaign for a fictional uh, commander type that you uh, play through, it's like a, um, a Roman general uh, who gets tasked, maybe he's fighting in the east against uh, Parthia or the Sassanids, uh, something like that could do that. Um, or maybe a Greek-focused campaign, but they already did Wrath of Sparta, so that's maybe not as likely. Uh, yeah, stuff like that. They probably they could do that. I'm not sure if they're gonna do it, but yeah. So hopefully it will be worth the while, and it will just not just be a an opportunity to get more money, because. 
it's gonna be a while for it's gonna be some some time now before the next t historical title comes out so I, we, we all want new historical content but we also want it to be good and worthwhile so I just hope they don't half-ass it <laughs> and that they really put in a good effort so that it's not just I mean Age of Charlemagne was good but I also th felt that mm, there was something a bit lacking uh, that I couldn't really I don't know it's maybe it's just me but yeah you had the ability to form like kingdoms and you could uh, um, you had the nice new unit cards and buildings uh, but the unit rosters were very weak in the beginning I think I think I remember playing as the King of the Danes from one of my first uh, series and I don't think you could actually get cavalry as the Danes I'm not sure if that's uh, right according to my memory but I think that was the case and that's just weird <laughs> so yeah there was just yeah something missing I don't know it wasn't as story driven um, I mean you didn't get the character options um, like you could get from say uh, the uh, Celtic DLC where you get a, you can choose uh, certain uh, yeah make certain uh, you could uh, shape one of your generals um, based on like you get a, a little story and what he's doing and you can choose his path and then he will spawn as a general with skills matching what decisions he's made basically but is so, so they could do something like I, I mean I think they need to do something more and as like character or story driven and like they are hinting that they will do in the next full title so I hope they do I hope they showcase take this opportunity to kind of test something like that would be nice um, and um, it doesn't have to be uh, completely historical it's just that it could be happened. I mean, there are a lot of things in the world that has happened that we don't know about. So, as long as it's not too crazy, uh, it would be cool, of course, if you do something with historical uh, background. It should always be that way. But you could keep, like, say you get you get a campaign where you're playing as, um, I don't know, uh, let's say a Carthaginian general. You don't not 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 necessarily Hannibal, and you're you're tasked with, uh, uh, yeah, you're gonna establish a presence on Sicily. You're gonna take uh, Syracuse, and then, yeah, I mean, that would be a, kind of an interesting and like a career campaign-driven thing, where you like you get more resources and you get more unlock more units depending on your performance rather than technology and stuff like that and then say you like so say in this specific examples let's say you take the map of sicily you make it so that there are more settlements perhaps and then you can take you 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 get the opportunity to fight certain battles and then you uh, take over small towns and then let's say you take a really uh, a city and then you get more support from carthage and you may get a promotion or something like that. More political power to unlock certain abilities or buildings, units, agents, stuff like that. That could be an interesting thing. And uh, maybe then you can uh, invade Italy, so <laughs> get that opportunity. I don't know. That's just an example and speculation, but yeah, that's something that could happen. And I hope they try and push the envelope a bit in these kind of black ops things and not just release some kind of uh, extra extra little campaign with basically the same features yeah okay so we're gonna move on to point three and that is warhammer 2 and as you probably know by now it's coming out um, 
later this year. Oh, went to Steam page there, but yeah, we could stay here actually. So in the fall sometime, probably. And yeah, I, I'm really excited about the Lizardmen, I have to say. Not necessarily the, the, the um, whole dinosaur thing, I don't get that. What's so cool about dinosaurs? Uh, I don't get it. But uh, I mean, you can already see here this more story driven campaign with the Vortex, a more kind of goal oriented. Uh, and you don't, I mean, maybe it limits the replayability, but as long as they make the kind of endings like, yeah, that you really feel that you want to play again with a new race just to get to the ending and win the game because you get some kind of awesome cinema cinematic experience after or yeah you just want to feel that it's a replayability that you want to play this game one more time ex uh, just a moment when you finished with the campaign so it could add to that hopefully it will um, and uh, well so I'm yeah I'm as I said I'm really excited about the lizard men more about the their kind of more like I like the fact that they're they are very they're, they're old race and they're more like if you don't mess with us we're not gonna mess with you basically but we are we are here we're not gonna take <laughs> uh, shit from anyone and we're uh, yeah they have a certain like, like kind of legitimacy to them they're like the old they have been there forever we we know how th things work and they're yeah. I like the kind of the core has have the uh, South American, Central American tie into architecture and uh, looks very magic uh, focused. But they have some. I like the kind of different uh, unit species in the faction and how they kind of forms different tiers in the society. That's interesting. Uh, the elves. I'm not too. <laughs> I mean, we've seen elves before in every kind of movie, game, series. We know about elves by now, and uh, I don't know how difficult they're, uh, dif different they're gonna be deterred, uh, how different they will be in compared to other elves. I just hope that they will feel like something else. Uh, the orcs haven't done it for me in that sense. It's, I mean, it's still. I mean, it's different to Lord of the Rings, yes, but not enough for me to kind of... To me, they kind of blur together. It's just orcs, and I hope that the elves won't uh, do the same. And then we get the... Um, well, of Skaven will be in... So, And I'm also very excited about that, because that's such... Has always been portrayed as, like, as such a unique race that you have to develop something uh, substantial in terms of game mechanics to kind of make justice to that race and they really should do that because otherwise both the Warhammer community and the Total War Warhammer community will like the whole everyone will be I think uh, feel like they have for uh, that they have missed important lore and stuff like that that should be in the game and of course, I hope that they get rid of the one wall siege thing, but not know if that's gonna happen or not. Um, to a death, and I think. Is there anything else I want uh, that we didn't get in Warhammer? Well, I kind of think that. Uh, I'm. Hope, hopefully. Um, uh, this has kind of been, yeah. It's, this, this issue has been with me since long times. So it's not just Warhammer, but every time we get a a mechanic, game mechanic like uh, corruption, or uh, yeah, something like that. That religion, not kind of, you need to uh, uh, stave off with buildings or technologies. I will felt that it's just. It's a bit too sensitive sometimes, 
and uh, it could take one chaos agent just to start the increase of chaos by 5% even if you have a religious building or something that is supposed to decrease it so I hope that if Skaven is in the game that they won't be too much focus on that as well as maintaining your culture, religion or whatever it is uh, because that, that that kind of takes away from me. I, there are more interesting things that you can micromanage about uh, empire building and city building than that that kind of faction, for me at least. Like population or uh, the way you build buildings in your city, diplomacy. The, I, I haven't really, I never liked that feature too much. I think it's a bit too... Yeah, it's a bit too sensitive, and it. I've always felt that like I have, to, I have to have too much buildings negating corruption or enemy religion, just in that space that I wanted to use for something else. But that's just my fault. Right, and um, well, f um, I know a lot of people want free for all in multiplayer, and I totally agree. That shouldn't be. There shouldn't be a, a question, an issue, it should just be there, and um, I also hope that, um, well, that they, uh, that they make wise decisions on which factions they reveal later on that are gonna be in the game, maybe as DLCs or whatever, like, th that they kind of uh, don't stir the ang don't cause anger within the community and be wary uh, of how they approach DLCs and stuff like that. Um, you can take a look at the uh, if you're following uh, the uh, the development and announcement uh, news about Star Wars Battlefront 2, which is coming later this year. They have apparently. Of course, we don't have the f complete game yet, but they appear to have taken a lot of suggestions from their community and making decisions and changes that has been called for by the community. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it shows that at least for some titles, it really matters when you who are out there on uh, YouTube or Reddit or uh, Twitter playing the game, chatting to people uh, while, while playing multiplayer or with your friends it matters the opinions that you bring forward to the table uh, on the internet so if you want something then in a nice uh, polite manner express your opinion and hope that you get it or at least that you get a response to why you can't get it so. I don't see too much controversy coming with uh, Warhammer 2. I just hope that it's a game that f has some new kind of interesting mechanics than to Warhammer 1 so that it's not just a faction pack. Uh, I hope that they try and be a bit more... Uh, try, to try to maybe involve characters, uh, more st uh, character driven um, campaign perhaps or something different. That's what I'm hoping. All right, so I'm getting a bit, uh, yeah, a bit chatty now. I can feel some, and I'm, I'm just letting uh, words pour out of my mouth here. So I'm gonna try and be a bit more focused now. And return to the list now, and we are now on um, topic number four. And if we turn to my channel, um, I've been thinking about. Um, Maybe possibly in the near future revi returning to some of my uploading multiplayer battles. If that's something you want to see, then feel free to suggest uh, your opinion on that. Uh, you can see here I have uploaded a few battles way back. It's my first video ever, so of course I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it here as long as I have the channel. <laughs> uh, I think I actually won that battle as well, so that's uh, yeah. Nice. 
uh, introduction to the channel. Oh, and that's my Christmas series that I did uh, two years ago, actually. I think, no? No, one and a half years, almost. Uh, yeah. Yes, you can see, a common theme with my channel is that I do amazing thumbnails. Uh, amazing, the best you've ever seen. And if you heard anything else that someone thinks they're not that good, it's of course fake news. You should know that. Right, so m multiplayer battles you could do with, if you want to play, play with me, uh, play a battle, um, yeah, then just uh, comment or try and send me a message on Twitter, whatever. Uh, and I'll, yeah, I'll arrange it. No problem. Uh, or maybe you want to do a historical battle with me as multiplayer. That would be very interesting because then we could really set up how the two armies uh, act and ev try and take the historical theme to another level because now we have not only one army acting historical. <laughs> We have two now, because the AI tries to just play to win, and not play historically accurate. So, could do that, that would be very interesting actually. And... Yeah. And I'm thinking about... What are your thoughts about doing a co-op uh, campaign series? I have never played co-op campaign actually, on any Total War game, so... Um, I'm not sure uh, if that would be good or bad. It would be certainly be interesting. Uh, so uh, if you have uh, any suggestions, feel free to um, drop them in the comment section. And that is... Uh, yeah, that's it for topic number four. And now for the last... Um, last uh, thing that I had today, uh, number five, historical battles, but I already talked about that, so <laughs> forget about that. I somehow went over that in the beginning of the video, didn't I? Yeah. So, uh, right then, pretty much covered everything, so um, just me, let me just revise and uh, retrace my steps here if you are feeling a bit confused. And, and uh, yeah, so I'm still doing the uh, Avernia campaign and the British Can Peninsula campaign and uh, yeah, still going and should mention, of course, I should have said this in the beginning, uh, I will be fi looking to at least finishing up this one before the Avernia campaign, before moving on to a new series and before possibly taking a look at the progress of the uh, Ancient Empires mod. Right, and then of course I, we talked a bit about um, uh, the uh, next historical Total War title, but maybe a bit more about the Black Ops team that are working on um, yeah content to kind of fill the gap between between uh, Attila and the next historical title. So, so uh, what do you think that they will do for? Uh, historical content on Rome 2 and Attila. What more can they kind of uh, get from those platforms? What do you want to see? Um, and how do you think they can... Can they ac actually make it? Will will it be good? What do you think? And uh, do you also agree that they should pr probably try and test some of the more character uh, campaign map concepts that they are talking about? Because I feel like I wanted them at least to try stuff that is different rather than just make it kind of like Rome 2 or like Attila. Uh, good games, but um, I feel like it's always good to have that sense of constant uh, change or improvement. Not necessarily change because you want to just because you have to change, you feel like you need to change, but so that you can offer something new, or at least bring back some of the beloved, beloved features that are gone today, like uh, like uh, you, how uh, Family Tree returned, because people really, really wanted to come back and express their uh, feelings on that very strongly. So maybe, yeah, I just hope that they do something different, that 
that is maybe maybe misses the target, but at least uh, dares to take a shot and yeah. So I can use the feedback for the next historical title, maybe. I don't know. So leave your thoughts about that if you have any. And we talked about Warhammer too. Um, so how do you feel about Warhammer? Are you do you prefer the historical titles or do you pr like Warhammer more? Um, how do you feel about the announced races? And of course we know Skaven will be in there um, as well. Um, and um, yeah. And uh, yeah, we talked about co-op and multiplayer. So um, I think the ma main uh, thing that I would be interested in there, there would be uh, multiplayer historical battles. So that is, uh, I would really like some opinions on that. And because it's a, I think it's a lot easier to manage than in co-op series. Because I want to finish a campaign once I start. So. And that is pretty much it. I am not gonna keep you <laughs> any longer from all the busy things that you have to do in your normal life. And as always, uh, the easiest way to get in touch with me is probably uh, Twitter, which is always linked in the description of my videos. Uh, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Uh, I'm currently at an all-time high on 18. So <laughs> Uh, yeah, but I don't do a lot of endorsement or uh, I, yeah, I, I just always hope that it would come Subscri subscribe uh, subscriptions would come by themselves like naturally So yeah We'll see we'll see uh, Getting pretty good views on the Arverni campaign. So maybe it's just that people are tired of Warhammer and Attila. I don't know uh, Yeah So I think that sums up everything. I'm not going to talk anymore. I hope that um, you have uh, some strong opinions or feelings that you want to share with me. And I hope that uh, yeah, you, and you have enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much if you've been paying attention all the way through here. And if you have uh, put up with my... Uh, some uh, my background music uh, and uh, yeah I hope that you have had or will have a very good day depending on the time when you watch the video and hopefully I'll get in touch with you guys soon somehow I don't mean that in a creepy way just <laughs> kind of yeah interact with me leave a comment or yeah hit me up on Twitter that's it. So, thanks again for watching and bye for now.